for the slots. Ho dee hum, it was another day at Sleepy Valley Sloth School and all the sloths were just hanging around. Once in a while, the teacher would remember his job and wake up with a lesson. All right now, he would draw. Everybody yawn. Or keep those snores coming. Or all together, students, let's roll over. Most of the time, though, the class just slept. It was a sloth thing. They were content in their slothfulness. Occasionally, the principal would drop in and say with a shortle, Don't mean to wake you, but I've never in my life seen such a lazy bunch of louts. Keep up the good whatever. And the sloths would smile in their slumber. The only movement of the day came at lunch hour. Actually, it was lunch three hours when the sloths would amble around the slothteria, taking a berry at a time, slowly chewing each one ever so carefully. After all that exertion, it was nap time again. Then the students were off to study hall, and then it was time for recess. The dismissal bell rang at 3 o'clock sharp each day, but it was dusk before the sloths left school because no one wanted to get up to open the door. Do I have to? moaned one. I did it last time, yawned another. My leg hurts, mumbled a third. So everyone was happy to go back to sleep until 6 o'clock when the custodian swept them out and they rolled home. One day, a new sloth came to school. She had just moved into the area, and her name was Sparky. Sparky was perky. She was full of life and energy, and vim and vigor and vitality. She was a mover and a shaker and a go-getter. And by mid-morning, she was driving the other sloths crazy. Let's read a story. Hey, we could use a little music. Want to build a castle? Anyone for math? How about some poetry? The lazy sloths shook Sparky off, nudged her with their elbows, and shoved her way away from their toes. So poor Sparky sat in the corner fidgeting on her first day of school, feeling very unwelcome. What a bunch of bores, she sighed to herself. Then she looked up, and there was a real real boar at the door with a clipboard from its outfit it was clear that it was a wild boar the boar announced i am an official representative of sos that's the society for organizing sameness wait till you hear what we know about you it says here in my report that sleepy valley soft school is a disgrace to the entire mammal district the boar was getting round up now and began pacing wildly, shaking trees, whacking some slots with a clipboard, and poking others with a pencil until everyone was awake. Want to know your scores? Without waiting for an answer, the wild boar boomed on. Reading? Dreadful. Music? The absolute worst. Block building? Zilcho. Math? Forget it. Poetry? Off below and way under the chart. Thus, I am here from SOS to close this school. The sloths gasped. Their school? Their happy, peaceful, slothful school? They had to do something, but they weren't doers. They had never done anything. Only one sloth could help them now. The mover, the shaker, the go-getter, all eyes turned with hope to Sparky. Sparky addressed the wild boar. You mentioned reading. Reading, of course. She passed out the books and the slots began. Being unsure of what books were, sandwiches began munching. Reading, whispered Sparky, not eating. She laid a book over each sloth. The sloths looked like they were reading. Music? Sparky whipped her violin out of her knapsack and played Flights of the Bumblebee, while the other sloth snored, zzz, very realistic. Block building, 
The sloths were well past their nap time, but they threw themselves into the task. Occasionally, a sloth in need of a quick snooze would get sandwiched, but that made the tower all the higher. By now, the sloths were thoroughly exhausted. Sparky pressed on. Math! What's two plus two? The answer came in groan. Four. Get it. Luckily, the wild boar heard only the four and not the get it, so he didn't get it. And the last subject you mentioned, said Sparky, was poetry, off, below, and way under the chart. If you please, we will recite the way of the sloth. Of course, all sloths everywhere had been brought up with this poem. They'd known it since they were babies. They could recite it in their sleep, so they did. The way of the sloth. The way of the sloth is gentle and kind. It hangs from a tree with nothing in mind. It doesn't make faces or throw fits or holler. It never gets heated under the collar. It's surely no bother that's easy to see. It just hangs around contented to be. That, stated the wild boar, was impressive, most impressive. Some nitwit must have confused your school with another Sleepy Valley sloth school. Is a credit to the entire mammal district. Off stalked the wild boar with a clipboard, and everyone, especially Sparkly, Sparky, settled in for a peaceful, well-deserved, and very long nap. The end.